I look at the temperature overnight and if it's colder, that's gonna mean that I gotta come in here a little earlier because it's gonna take a little longer for this to rise. I'm all about routines, making sure everything is done correctly on time. I'm all about uh, perfecting the craft. The pandesal, this is a staple food for Filipinos and their breakfast. It's something that they have to smell in the morning, they have to have with their coffee. When uh, Spain came in, they introduced wheat to the Philippines. So, what they were trying to do is uh, mimic like a brioche. And with the resources that they had in the Philippines, they came up with pantasal. I had to keep this tradition going. This bakery is a big staple to this community. This belonged to the people, you know, this belonged to the community, keeping the bakery alive. That was what was important to me. And keeping the people happy with receiving what they're used to getting all the time. I carry this all the time because it helps me escape from the kitchen. And I think, Oh, I'm also an artist, so. <laughs> this is my sketchbook, yet yeah, this is my recipe book on how I studied Rembrandt, how I studied Caravaggio, how I studied Boudreau. Some ink drawings with a brush pen. My son had a Batman phase, so I thought I was gonna change my career into illustrator. And I, I always loved um, the noir graphic novels and black and white and the dramaticness of that. This is my wife. I think she was reading and I was painting her. Here's James Dean. I actually started painting a sergeant portrait and the underpainting looked so much like James Dean that I changed it into James Dean. So I met this guy through the bakery. He's now my barber. We're pretty good friends now. I've always been intrigued with Michelangelo sketches and Leonardo sketches and how much time they put into studying. Um, it's their curiosity that made me curious to try that myself. That process has always been interesting to me because that's where the artist kind of lives. In the midst of learning how to paint, I was suggested to just paint from the masters by copying. I've always been intrigued by Caravaggio, mostly because of his, uh, his interesting life his dramatic paintings and his play with shadow and how he brings light to an existence in his paintings is what draws me into his work. I feel like paintings have a little more substance when you look up what was going on around that artist's time when he was painting this. I think I was just mostly in love with the design of this painting and the challenge of bringing the characters to life. This is me stepping back and asking myself, well, who are you as an artist? Before I learned how to paint even faces and figures, I did a lot of graffiti. And how can I merge the two worlds because they're both what I love? I wanted that classical form to interact with the graffiti. It was mainly to, to express who I am as an artist. I'm stepping out of trying to be like Caravaggio and trying to be more like myself. Because I still want to spray paint. I still want to feel the cans and 
warm them up than spray on the canvas. Yet, I love to paint. I love to take the time and have a small brush and model the form. I think doing everything at once right now and making my two lives kind of mesh together is making me create things that are more meaningful. I like to think like Caravaggio, he was on the run and he had barely any time to paint. Yet, he would paint masterpieces while he's in hiding just to get Rome's approval to come back to the city. And I am painting whatever I can because I love to paint. It's all just a, a pattern of what I love about art and creating. And that's kind of what I bring to everything that I put my hands on, that whatever I do will be art, whatever I paint, whatever I draw, whatever I nowadays bake will be art before it leaves my studio, before it leaves my kitchen. That's just who I am, you know, that's just what I like to make and that's what I want to present to the world. I'm an artist first and I became a baker. The challenge for me was to find my why, like why do you bake? It's not even about me anymore. I think it's about the people, the customers, the community. It's all about tradition. It's all about family. And especially the Filipino culture, it's all about giving. It's all about sharing. And that's a tradition in itself. <laughs>